Howdy y'all! Today is harvest day. We are harvesting our garlic. We've been waiting all year to do this since we planted them last October. And we're going to show you how you know it's time to harvest, how to harvest them, and we might even show you how to do garlic braiding, which is super fun. So stay tuned and follow us on this garlic journey. So here's our garlic field and as you can see the tips of the garlic are turning brown that's how you know it's time to harvest. We have soft neck varieties, we have hard neck varieties and the uh, difference between the two is um, normally your hard necks would have scapes coming out of them but we harvested those a few weeks ago and uh, they have a hard neck and the soft necks have a soft neck. Um, the soft necks store for longer so that's why you usually see them in the stores and the hard necks are um, a little bit different in their flavor profile but uh, we're going to show you how to harvest both of them and we're going to uh, show you how to braid both of them what you doing there farmer nick oh uh, <laughs> just uh staying a, a safe distance away we're going at a slight angle, but you also want to just be careful you don't hit the bulb itself. And you're just lifting up the soil just enough so you can slide it right out. And I usually try to get the soil off to try to leave as much bio matter in the field. It goes on the drying pile. There you go. Yeah. You got your big pile? Right, as for garlic braiding, these were pulled about a week and a half ago and they dried out a little bit too much to braid so I'm soaking them and you might have to get creative but you gotta do it. So I'm keeping the bulbs out of the water, soaking the stalks and let's see what the peanut gallery has to say. What do you guys think? Huh? Chatta? Tell me more about garlic braids. Shut up. Go ahead. There. Oh, she, she's shy. All right, let's do this to this. Here's our garlic. We have 16, and we're going to try to make a 16 head garlic. So I've cleaned off most of the stuff. Uh, you don't want to get too crazy because if you remove too many layers then you're going to end up popping off stalks. And this is what I got to work with right now. So I don't want to do that. You just do a little bit. You can always clean it a little later. Just kind of like, 
Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so you're going to take your biggest guy, lady, whatever, and you're going to start with that, okay? And you want your second biggest guy, your third biggest onion, dude, person. Ooh, this one I can take a lot of stuff off. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, concentrate. Concentrate, woman. All right, so here's your three starters. Get this guy off. Um, you get your first one. It's going to be in the middle. You're going to have your other two. So you, normally what you do is you take the two side guys and you cross them over each other like so. And you take your middle one and you put it in the middle like so. So you got three strings to your braid, strands. And what I do is, um, instead of using string, you're going to take this one and wrap it over and now you have the three strings like that. Okay, so whenever you start a new one, you're always going to be running it down the middle and braiding it. So starting with those three, maybe I should do this from above. Yeah. So starting with those three, let me refocus. So you saw how that went, right? This, these two are crossed. This one lays over the top. This bottom one is going to go like that. So now you're secure. And you're like that, okay? All right, I'm making sure everything you kind of want tight. Nothing like a loose braid. You're going to start, in this case, we're starting in the middle. So we're choosing our next biggest size, and we're putting, them, putting the one here, we're running it down, and it goes like that, and then I'm going to take the left side and braid it over, so now the left is in the middle, this is on the left, this is on the right still, okay? So let's see how we're doing. I'm going to take another one, we're going to put it over on the left, run it down the middle. Right? And then we're taking this right one. So just kind of try to keep track of left, right, left, right. Now we're going to do one on the right. Run it down the middle. It's got a little thing. Let's rotate it like that. Run it down the middle. Braid it over like that. Take one. Take this guy. Put that one down the middle. Braid it over. I'm going to go on the left. Run it down the middle, take this guy, throw it over there. Get a guy on the right, run it down the middle, take this one, put it there, okay? Now, middle, doing that, getting that over there. Left, down the middle, going right. Getting that over there, right down the middle. Oh, see, this one's all stiff. Right down the middle. This one goes over like that. We're doing middle again. Down the middle. This one goes over there. Uh, left down the middle. This one goes over there. Right, down the middle, this one goes over here, okay, and then one, to top her off, and we're going to just braid everything now. And we all know how to braid, right? Left, right, left, right. Until you run out of stuff. Okay. So that's what it looks like. All the way down. And we're going to tie it off. 
right now I'm using one of these guys. I'm going to change it to a um, something prettier later. Let's see how that looks. There we go. Yeah. We'll put it next to our other one. Excuse the mess. I have a baby. And there you go. So those are our garlic braids. I'm gonna fix this guy a little bit. Put that over there. That looks better. There we go. Two garlic braids.